Hello, I'm Stu Jordan, I'm from Auckland, New Zealand, and I'm a chocolatier. Welcome to Auckland. So, just been in the kitchen. We're making almond praline for a pretty special recipe um, that we're doing for uh, some friends for Christmas. Bear with me. Lewis? Lewis! When I said freeze the nuts, I meant the almonds. I live in Auckland. We have 1.3 million people. It's New Zealand's biggest city and there's sheep running around in it. I get asked all the time, wow, what's it like being a chocolatier? What does that even, what does it even mean? It must be so exciting. And you know what's really cool? Every day I wake up, I can say to myself, wow, I own a factory, and in that factory, there are thousands upon thousands of all these different types of chocolate, and I own them all. <laughs> but it's not all about just making chocolate. So, rather than tell you what it's like to be a chocolatier, I decided I was going to start this little journey with you, and give you a glimpse into the life of a chocolatier. <laughs> do I want to give you an insight into the life of a chocolatier because as I said it's a fun life more fun than you could probably imagine and you're going to get to see the fun side of life 
But you know, there's a deeper side to it as well. And I'm going through a journey at the moment where I've decided I want to be richer than I am. I want to be skinnier than I am. And I'm going to record that journey while I make chocolate and have fun. And uh, we're going to see what happens. The Chocolatier life is really about my journey. So you're going to see not only the fun side of my life, which is the eccentric Chocolatier life that I have been leading, but you're going to see where I start trying to make some changes to be a bit healthier. Uh, I want to make more money. One of the downsides of being a chocolate maker is the taste testing. The downside of doing all the taste testing is um, I'm a little bit fatter than I used to be. And I woke up about a couple of months ago and just realized how much weight had just silently piled on. I hadn't even noticed. So I've decided to do something about it. Part of this is going to be watching me haul my fat ass off the couch and actually try and uh, get healthy. Doesn't mean I'm going to stop eating chocolate. <laughs> that was almost funny. Uh, no, no, we're not going to give up chocolate. So I will eat chocolate every day on this journey. I don't know where it's going to end up. I don't know how it's going to pan out. But I know one thing. If I put my mind to it, I can do anything. I was told that by my dad when I was little. It's not always going to be me just droning on about how I want to change my life because I already have a... F I'm probably not allowed to say those words on camera, am I? Let's be honest, I have a pretty cool life as it is, so why do I need to improve it? Well, I believe that if you stop trying to be a better version of you, you'll stagnate. So I want more money. I want to be skinny. If you watch this in six months time, and I've got more money and I'm a little bit skinnier, then hopefully you will see that if I can do it, good old Stu from Invercargill, bottom of the world, if I can make money, and if I can get skinny, and if I can do all the things that I want to do and build that perfect life that we all want to have, God, if I can do it, folks, you can do it.